Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. How are you doing tonight? Kyle here with another video for you guys. And tonight I wanted to make a sort of a spontaneous video that is about something that I'm dealing with right now. And it's the topic of what I do when I'm stuck on my research. As those of you who are watching this video probably know, I'm a PhD student in physics and my research is on black holes. And if that sounds complicated, it's because it is. And there are a lot of times where I get stuck and I have to try and find my way through and try and make progress with my research. And I'm making this video in the sense that I'm currently in one of those stuck phases right now. And I thought I'd tell you guys how I sort of get untangled or how do I get unstuck? And hopefully it will shed some light or maybe even give you guys some ideas, you know, how to how to deal when you're stuck with your own PhD research because we all, you know, inevitably will get stuck when we do our PhD research. I mean, it's unsolved problems. There's a reason why they've never been solved before. Someone probably got stuck or someone has never tried. That's where we come in as PhD students. So, in terms of what I do when I get stuck is I go through a few steps. Now, one thing that I do is when something doesn't work in my research, which involves a lot of computer coding, one of the first things I'll do is I'll look at my code and I'll first I'll ask, did I actually code the thing right? Did I actually, you know, do the thing that I had set out to do with my computer program and is it giving the expected results? I like to backtrack. I like to see, you know, maybe there was a flaw in my logic somewhere or maybe I'm trying to recreate something in, from a paper and perhaps I didn't actually do it correctly. Maybe I, you know, thought I had done the thing in the paper correctly, but maybe it turns out that I hadn't. And so sometimes I'll just go step back, I'll reread the paper, I'll redrive equations if that paper was, you know, very mathematically intensive, and I'll look back at the thing that I tried to recreate, and maybe I'll I'll look at the individual components of of the process, and I'm, I'll really scrutinize and see, you know, did I actually you know, listen to what the co-author said on this paper? Did I actually follow all the, the, the necessary steps and, and stuff of that nature? So definitely a lot of backtracking. Now, another thing that I like to do when I'm stuck in my research is obviously I like to go and get help if I can get it. Now, I'm in the sort of this unique position where my PhD advisor, while he is extremely knowledgeable and successful as a, as a, as a researcher and as a professor, my research is a little bit outside of his own personal expertise because it's sort of a new project we're doing with um, with the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or ALMA. For those of you who have been following my research, you know I do research with ALMA. And it's new, and you know he may not necessarily have all the answers that I'm, I'm seeking, but he's always down to talk to me and you know work through problems with me, and we have very, very insightful discussions. So when I'm stuck, uh, we'll usually have meetings, I'll talk to him about what I'm, what I'm facing, and then he'll offer me you know, suggestions, suggestions that I may not have thought of myself and then I'll go and try them and then I'll report back to him whether or not they worked and what can be adjusted. Another thing I like to do is I also like to email a bunch of uh, people who are who also do this kind of research in the field, specifically people who were in the research group that I'm in now but have now graduated and are doing postdocs and even becoming professors. So I'll, I'll often send an email, I like to call it an SOS or a distress email, to some of these individuals who are very, very knowledgeable in the field, are you know, clear experts in what I do, and uh, can give me very, very fine details as to what you know I probably should be looking for or what I should be changing in my approach. So that's another thing that I like to do when I'm stuck. A third thing that I really like to do when I'm stuck, which is sort of different from the other two things that I've already described, is that sometimes I just like to just step back I like to take walks. I like to just be able to think on the problem for a little bit, which sounds kind of strange because obviously when I'm working, I, I must be thinking, which I am. But sometimes I feel like I can get into this this mode or zone where I'm not actually thinking so hard about maybe the big picture. Like I maybe I'm very focused on one particular part of my research and I'm not carefully planning each step through. I'm not really thinking through all the steps. I'm just sort of doing them. And sometimes I just like to step back. I like to just give myself some time to think 
and really really think just think without yeah without even pen or paper just just sit down or go for a walk and just let my mind think about the problem for a little bit and oftentimes i will be able to come up with some good ideas i've been doing that more often lately and i have to say i think it's actually quite rewarding because it also gives me an appreciation of what i'm doing in the sense that sometimes you kind of forget why you're doing what you're doing and how much you actually like it and how interesting you think it is because when you're doing research and you're you know in the trenches and you're trying to solve this unsolved problem you sometimes lose sight of of what it's all about and what you're trying to do and how you're trying to accomplish this really really difficult task so being able to think and remember why you're here and why you're doing the research you're doing is a is a really important thing when you're when you're stuck i think so yeah that's essentially the things that i do when i'm stuck on my research send out a lot of distress emails conversations with my advisor you know go through old papers and rederive things as i as i deem necessary and you know think really hard which i don't think comes as too much of a surprise so i hope this video is useful i hope it shed some light onto my process hopefully it gives you some ideas for your own process when you're doing research and let me know what you do when you're stuck on your research leave a comment below i'd love to hear what you guys do and i will talk to you guys in the future have a good one everyone